Hi, I'm Laura. Welcome to Thursdays at 3-ish with Read Them Junk by Laura. And yes, I'm having a bad hair day. So just um, pay attention to everything else we're doing, not that. Which means everybody's looking at my hair right now. Um, before we start our project we're working on today, which we're going to do some... Um, we're going to fix some veneer. We have a business portion of the video to take care of. So first is our customer creation winners for this week. And they are Tom. Tom's our cameraman again this week. Say hello, Tom. There you oh, go. I can't figure it out. Did you get it? Yeah. You did? Okay. All right. <laughs> first one is Penny Miller. Um, and i got to figure out how to, if, you, you if anybody wants away. to suggest how, i got to figure out how to print the pictures a little bigger, although it is really fun watching Tom try to reach over there and get them. So the, she did, look what she did. Look at the before, which didn't even have a top on it, and how fabulous it is after she's done. Yes, it's shaking. I'm leaning over two dressers. All okay. right. No, you're not. I'm going to show you what you're leaning over in a minute. And our second winner is Amy Shepard. She did her stair rails. Woohoo! They look fabulous. Look at the before and after for that. So if you are Penny Miller or Amy Shepard, email us, Facebook us, whatever. You have a $35 gift certificate. So if you place an order online, we will refund $35 of whatever you order. They need to put that on the order. So, well, yeah, just place your order online and then write in the note section that you have, back off, that you have a $35 gift certificate and we will refund that to you. So congratulations to Penny and to Amy. Okay, second thing is we are really excited to let you know that we are sponsors in the Vintage Market Days of Greater Atlanta show that's coming June 1st, 2nd, 3rd? I don't know. It's on the Facebook page. I should are you know that. Something? No, I'm not chewing something. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm not, what am I doing? I'm not chewing anything. <laughs> No, not changing anything. Okay, so vintage weekend of June. It's the first weekend of June. It's in the Gwinnett County Fairgrounds. If you are close enough, it is going to be a phenomenal thing, of course, because we're going to be there. But the shopping will be absolutely fantabulous. There are going to be um, hundreds of vendors there. It's going to be absolutely wonderful. And we're going to be there with the paint and with furniture and demoing. And what we would like you to do today, please, is you can focus on this now, Tom. Look how prepared I am. Go to their Vintage Market Days of Greater Atlanta Facebook page and like it comment on there that you heard it on Rethunk Junk's Thursday at 3-ish. Share the page with a friend, because you'll want to go with a friend. Tag a friend, say, hey, let's go this together, start clearing your calendar, make sure you head there and go to it, and that will enter you in a drawing for free paint. So, like their page, comment on their page that you heard about them because of us, because we're fabulous, and then share. So, that's what we're doing for Vintage Market Days, and I'll be saying that every week, and you'll probably get tired of me saying it, but we're so excited to be a part of it. Next, we only have two more things, and we're going to start the thing. Okay, this one, we're doing a giveaway on our Facebook page, and I'm just letting everybody know, because I don't know if everybody knows yet. We've got, you go to the Facebook page, and the title is, it's giveaway time, but I did pin it to the top so you could find it easier. So go to that page, I mean, go to that post, comment, tell us your favorite paint color. So many of you already have, and we are so grateful. It has been so fun to read your comments. It has surprised me how many people like Barn Door. Didn't realize that was such a favorite. And so it's great to have your input. We absolutely love that. And people have said such nice things. We are truly, truly grateful. And then share our, um, the post or our page with a friend. So either like the page or the post, comment, tell us your favorite color, and then share it. Last thing is... I feel got, like I'm in school. I know, right? I normally never do this, but we got so many exciting things going on. Last thing is, we've got a paint class coming up. If you are interested in a paint class here in Woodstock, Georgia, apparently there is a Woodstock, New York, and a Woodstock somewhere else, because yes. I announced something the other day, and somebody said Woodstock where, and I was like, well, Woodstock, Georgia, but apparently there's more than one. Sorry about that. So, contact us, email Jill at Jill, by Laura at Hotmail.com, or message us, um on this Facebook Live thing right here that you, you're interested in coming to the class. We'll contact you and give you all the details. So, now we're ready to play around with... Oh, April 22nd, sorry. 11 to 1. 11 to 1, April 22nd. <laughs> Say, what would I do without you? Okay, so, here we go. We're going to play around with some veneer. First thing we're going to do, there are four things we're going to talk about. Oh, nothing else you want to tell them? No, smarty pants, I'm done. <laughs> okay. Now, we're going to talk about four things. The first is gluing it down, which is an option, which everybody knows about. Filling it up, which everybody knows about. Embracing it, which I love to do. Or hiding it, which is my very favorite. So we're going from my least favorite to my most favorite. So let's go with glue it down. Back up. Beep, beep, beep. You got it? Oh, wow. That was cruel. No, it wasn't cruel. All right. So, oh, what's the question? how much class was the paint class? Class is 75. It includes a quart of the paint, which is... A wonderful thing. It includes, um, you pick whatever color you want. It includes a goodie box of a lot of fabulous stuff. Chocolate's in the goodie box, so that right there is worth coming, and it's a really fun time. You bring a piece of furniture, you'll take your furniture home done. 
So, and we'll give you all the details. And it but has 75. to be able to fit in your car. The furniture does have to be able to fit in your car. <laughs> we used to say, bring a piece of furniture you can carry in. When you throw that gauntlet down, it's amazing what a woman can strap to her back and drag <laughs> into class. So we liked it to fit in the front seat beside you. Tom usually straps mine in with his seat belt, actually, if I'm taking furniture somewhere. So you don't have to do that. But that's, so those are the details. All right. First thing, this one's going to be hard to see, but the first one is a glue down. This was flopping, come right here. Oh flopping all the way down we glued it so it's stuck not all the way down but it's stuck this part was the flapping in the breeze part so we glued it down and we're going to paint it and sand over that so the first thing is this little piece was flopping so we glued it so get some wood glue glue it you can clamp it if you want i'm not a clamper um i just hold it there till it sticks but first thing you can do is glue it down that's a very very simple one if you have a little tiny piece and everything's intact and there aren't any chips, blah, 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 you can glue it down. Okay. So, see how fast this is going now? Let's glue it down. Where's the fan? The lights. Did you not bring the fan in? I brought the fan in. No, I did not. No, you did not. Okay. Yeah. Second one is... You, you missed a spot. Did I ask you? Oh. You All right, there we go. Wow, I'm just going to move away. Well, i got to do a second coat. Okay. <laughs> second thing is... Fill it up. This takes several coats. This takes you smush the wood filler on. And just let me say, we've had some questions lately. You cannot, you can paint over wood filler, but even if it says stainable, it doesn't really take, stain top doesn't really cover it. A lot of times real stains don't even really cover it, but don't wood fill something and then plant on stain top in it because it just doesn't look the same. The two things don't, don't blend. So right here, I need my sander. Okay, we've got, that's feeling pretty smooth. We've got a couple coats on there, so put it to what? We put a coat on, sanded it, put another coat on. It usually takes two or three coats, and all you got to do is smear the stuff on. And I know you're thinking, yeah, we know how to do this, but my last tip's going to be fun, so just stick with me. So you're just going to stick it on. Once it dries, it's out of focus. you can... What am I doing wrong? Um, you're just not doing it right. Is it all out of focus? Is, yeah, are people complaining? No, it's not out of focus on what Okay, so you can wow, tell. it is here. You're just going to go over it until you fill that oh, hole. It's there now. That's funny. Is it, is it out of focus? No, it's out of focus. I was a little okay. too close. Right. Um, Shelly Salinas would like to know what kind of wood filler. Well, <laughs> then I'll just show you what kind of wood filler. And I will say there are some that I don't like. This one I kind of like. Oh, wait, go to the side so you don't get Goodness. Me. You got it? Plastic wood by DAP. All right. Don't get me. Get the, get the wood filler. All right, so there you go. All right, that's the one I'm using. And one of these little things is absolutely phenomenal for smearing it on. Got another question? No. Oh, I thought you were raising your hand because there was a question. There. Okay. So there's another option. Here, you know what? There's a fourth option. Fourth option, is, I mean a fifth option. Down at the bottom, see, I was going to wear shoes, but I just can't. So shoes are gone. All right. This option is knock it off. So it was all along the front here. This was all coming off. You can knock it off and then get to a stopping point, which we did. So getting rid of it. The thing you have to remember when you're getting rid of it is get rid of all of it. That little guy right there is wanting to stick. Okay. I'll get him with the sander. Yeah. All right. And then make sure that you sand a stopping point. I did not sand as good here. It is a good stopping point because that's where the legs start. But you want to sand so it kind of just smooths out. And then this underneath where you pull this off. It, see how it's kind of hairy? Can you get closer without it being? <laughs> no. Okay. It is kind of hairy. It's got it's got some issues there. So sorry. Let me drop the paint. That'd be good. So make sure you sand so that the little where it meets and ends is smooth and then sand the hairy wood. See how that's a little bit different than here? I sanded over here. Can you get close? See how it's a little hairy there? So, but then the veneer's gone. You can sand right over it. I mean, you can paint right over it. And then, look, isn't this a fabulous secure chest? Okay, I'm gonna put that there. Don't kick it over, Tom. All right, next one. Wait, I'm gonna show you why I got this. Cause this is so exciting and awesome. Ready? Look how beautiful. Isn't that awesome? Look, little box. Isn't that great? This is a fabulous, fabulous, except for all the veneer falling off. Okay, so the next one is, because um, so we've done the glue it down, 
We've done the fill it up. We've done the knock it off. I don't know why it's getting blurry, but I'm going to step Is back. Is it blurry to you? I don't know why it's doing that. That's it's not blurry to Jill. No, it's not blurry, but if you tap the screen, it'll come into focus again. Oh, how's he going to tap the screen? Because he's holding lights. Well, he could use his nose. <laughs> use your nose, Jill says. Okay, the next one is just embrace it. It's not a bad thing for there to be some ickiness going on. Come over here, Tom. I just turned it around. It's on me. You did? Yeah. I so everybody it. saw you? Well, they saw you now, but I'll have no, to film you that. like this. Oh, okay. Oh, no, you can't film like that. Well, how do I change it? You do the button. <laughs> no, no, no. All right. We are classy, if nothing else. Okay, come over here. Or not. I mean, how can you not it's video without... Right here, I did not fill it. I painted and I sanded because I wanted it to look rustic like that. See how the veneer was chipping here? I didn't fill it. I didn't knock it off. I didn't glue anything. There wasn't anything to glue. But I like how rustic it can be in some places if you just leave it alone and just go with it. And everybody was very excited they got to see you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, a, I'm worth it, the wait. Was it one of those up your nose shots that we all love so yeah. much? It's one of those, what the world, who's that? Okay. He's ugly. <laughs> All right. May I just say that you are doing pieces that we can call Tom pieces. What? They're old, and the veneers are really bad. Your veneer's fine. All right. No, I didn't say anything about the old. Okay, last thing we're going to do is cover it up. Hide it, okay? This is pretty bad. we got a water ring here. Look, this is, if I started pulling that up, no telling what's under here. we got bubbles right here. we got, I don't even want to do do all the work that would be required to get that off there, to sand, to refinish it, whatever. Um, but it's the cutest piece. Look, if you step back, so you get the whole piece. I was just oh. going on over there, problem. All right. <laughs> if I step back, okay. Okay. Look, this is so cute. I got it for nine bucks because nobody else wanted to deal with the veneer, I'm sure. So we're going to take... Uh, what do you think this is? Eighth inch? Probably? Yes. Is it? Okay. Eighth inch piece of MDF. Cut it. I usually cut mine a quarter inch in because if I cut it a quarter inch in, then when I sand it, I have a little ledge. It looks like I mean to have it there. And over Lift it up a little bit and show them. Oh, lift it up and show them what? Yeah, just the side so they can sure. see that it's just very thin. Yeah, just way thin. Okay. So I already cut it, cut it a half inch in, so that I had a quarter inch, like I measured it was like 33 by 18, so I cut it 32 and a half by 17 and a half. See how I did that math really fast? All right, so we're going to put it on here. Those of you who are overachievers can use wood glue. I'm not going to worry about that. And we're going to nail it on. No, we're not. Here we are. Woohoo! This is so fun. This is my favorite part. No, I'm sorry. The paint is my favorite part. But this is pretty close. <laughs> this is pretty close. Now, you checking to see if the nails are coming through? I saw you look down. Did the one come through? Did one? The side. Okay, you're fired. Okay, okay, Jill's I'm fired. fired. She, pointed out, it. she pointed out something I did wrong, so she's fired. I was okay. just looking. Anybody looking for a job? Because Jill's fired. <laughs> Okay, all right. Now, sorry, just focus on the table. You don't have to follow me. Okay. The table's now, not saying much. It's so cute. It's saying a lot. It's really, really cute. Okay. Well, I really would like to know if the nail heads will show under the paint. Well, we're going to paint it right now, and I will I show her. Repeat the question. Oh, who would like to know so I can say her name? Melinda. Melinda, Melinda would like to know if the nails are going to show under the paint. Now, you can. What I usually do is I'm going to put the paint on here. Did I get the front edge done? You are getting it. Okay. Sorry, it wasn't Tom. No, that's okay. Tom's not even answering me. I might have to rehire you because otherwise I'm just working with Tom. You would be lost without me, lady. I would, I know. <laughs> okay. So, we've got paint going on. And in a minute, I'll get Tom to do a close up on one of the little spots where I put the nails. It's an iPad. I can't do anything with it, obviously. What do you mean? It's fancy. Just because you Apple have products. a nine ninety nine flip phone. Flip phone, exactly. <laughs> Almost, yeah. Robin says Almost. she would take the whole top off and pop on a new piece so she could get it at Home Depot. All right. Laura, you have permission to take your top off. She would, no, top of the furniture. <laughs> she, she would take the whole top off. We'll see that because she does a better job than I do. I'm about fast and easy. 
I don't know how that whole top was attached. And if I take the whole top off something, chances are it's going to see how I'm going all the way across. So I don't have brush strokes. Um, chances are the whole thing's going to fall apart. So, but okay. she can be an overachiever. What was that, that about being fast and easy? Fine with me. What? This is fast and easy. This front left corner. She's all about Where? fast and easy. That's why your marriage works. That's right. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Got that. Let me show you how it works on another piece of furniture. Okay. This is not what? I have two questions. Two questions. What are they? Carly would like to know what color paint you just used. What color paint? <gasps> I love this color paint. This is fog. It, it was one of our limited editions and you can't get it. No, I'm just kidding. You can still get it if you want it's to order fog. You can get August. it. Yeah, but you can um, order. He, he loves fog. So but it's not on the order form. So. It's not on the order form. If you want fog, just put in the notes you want fog. Shelly, or tell your retailer to get in. Yes. Shelly would like to know when putting the new top on, would you need to prep it first or not? No. 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 Mm -hmm. No, I just slapped that puppy on there and painted it. Great questions, though. Okay, so a lot of times you're picking a piece that's set in somebody's basement or it's got some water damage, and that starts from the bottom up. And I always, do I have paint on me? I always look at it and think to myself, it's flopping in the breeze. I can just rip it on up, but about halfway up the dresser, it gets insanely tightly stuck, and then it's a nightmare to try and get off or put back on or whatever it is I'm doing. So I'm going to show you, if you'll come around this way so you don't get a butt shot, Tom. Oh. I'm going to this dresser. I'm over there. I don't have a light over there. Don't worry about light. I got the door. Yeah, the door's the problem. Okay. Okay. All right. So what I would do is not, I wouldn't do it on this piece because there's this cool little thing right here, but this wouldn't have any water damage because it's way up high. So, but you cut a piece and put it on the side. And then when you paint that in, you, it just looks like a piece of molding. The one thing you do need to do is, even if there's only water damage on one side, do it on both sides so you have a piece of molding look on both sides. But if you just cut a piece and, you know, to however... Show them where at the bottom it'll get frayed. They'll know it when they see it. In the what do you mean? But show them what, what, what gets frayed. The bottom? What did you want me to do? This, I can't do it. What? Right here? <laughs> yeah, that it gets... It, the, the yeah, normally there's not a brace like this on a piece that I'm going to do it on. It just goes straight down, seen. and then the veneer just all flops up. But about right here, it starts sticking. Um, the other thing you can do is just... Resurface the entire thing. Cut a piece to go in the entire side if the damage goes up too far. But usually you can get away with putting something in that looks like a piece of molding. And that's just a way easy way. Just nail it in there or glue it in there um, to cover it. Now, you didn't bring the fan in. So this isn't going to dry very fast. Question about fog. Question what? Amy would like to know if it is going to be stocked at Woodstock Market. Amy who? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> yeah, hey, we'll, we do usually it's have some there. At the end of the summer. It's coming back in August for for, for real because um, it is a beautiful color. And I cannot remember who did it. But she also won the $35 gift certificate so she can order online. Oh, order online. Yeah, quit complaining. Okay, so I cannot remember who did it. I think it was, I'm not going to say because I don't remember. Somebody on Facebook posted I'm not going to say. Um, my Vanelli. I did say. Huh? Um, she posted that one of her favorite combinations now was, come over this way and do the, do the thing. Her favorite combinations was um, linen and fog. Real close. Do on the piece. And I absolutely love linen and fog. She is so right. It is so, so pretty together. That's fog right there and linen right there. And they are so soft and pretty oh. together. So, can you get it? Yes. It is really, really pretty. But I don't and feel good about myself right now. Real quick. Why? Because you were kind of mean. Here, look. Your video, let's hold the light. There you go. Yeah, see? I like being behind the camera. This is much better. I told you, being behind the camera is the mm -hmm. way to be. It is. All right. Okay, real quick, I'm going to distress the left leg because, especially on this one, distressing makes such a difference for those of you who think you don't want to distress. Okay? I got your bottom. Don't get my bottom. All right, here we go. It's hard not to, right? <laughs> Okay. Watch you when I explain the carpet. What? We're getting a big picture of the concrete strip. Oh yeah, there was a doorway there. We're not big into fit up because we know we're gonna, you know, not be big into fit up. So. Okay, when you're ready, you have two more. Oh, you have two more questions. Okay, let me do one more thing on this. I'm distressing. Watch how the square. You just go like that around. The, you just go around the square. I can't put my hand anywhere because it's wet. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> This 
is why when I paint a piece of furniture, I start at the bottom. So I have something to hold on to. The top is the very last thing I do. I should have already had that distress, but I wanted to show you the difference that it made, how pretty it is <coughs> to distress and move in a little bit. Like I love that spot right there. When it's distressed and how wide it is here, then it is there. That piece that's bonked off makes me happy. The imperfections are really, really cool. So if you can, when you're dealing with veneer, embrace it like we did on the corner of that cedar chest. That's awesome. What are the questions? Um, Tammy would like to know if you could explain again what type of wood you put on top. Yes, I can. We used quarter inch. No, did you see how it just jumped right up there? You did. Quarter inch. Don't get my bone. I'm trying to find my little scrap piece. Yes. Where's my scrap? Yes. Quarter inch MDF. Can hold it up to the side so you don't get me. Okay. It's real easy to work with because it's, well, it's kind of tricky to. Eighth inch. Eighth inch. I'm sorry. Eighth inch. You could use quarter inch. Don't correct me. Um, so, <laughs> you, but eighth inch is real. It just makes a little subtle lip on top of the piece of furniture. And I usually move in a half an inch. And to answer the question before, it's not drying because we don't have a fan on it as fast as I want it to for a video. It's drying insanely fast because it's tight with this paint. But yeah, what I usually... Back. Why are you doing the back? I, I don't know. Sweetie. What I usually do for nail holes, whoever asked that question, is... If you don't stop that, <laughs> yes, you are. Oh, okay, man. is just smush a little in to now hold. If you over distress, can you paint over it and start over? You can. Usually, there is no such thing as over distressing, but yes, you most certainly can. That's why I tell people don't be worried about distressing. You can always paint over it. But I do. My advice is don't paint over it until you're done, because the part you start with that you think you don't like that you think is a mistake, whatever, that could end up being your favorite part. So don't don't correct anything until you're done. And then go back and look at it and see what you think. So And can you repeat the two paint colors again, please? Fog, which no one can get. Just kidding. Fog and linen. And they are beautiful together. Absolutely beautiful together. I was so glad that I, most of the time I learn way more from you guys than I ever share with anybody else. And I'm so glad I saw that post because they are really, really pretty together. So any other questions? No. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then, oh, yeah. You wanted to, that sign up there. That sign. Oh, yeah. This right here on the front of this. No. We Sorry. are getting ready to carry furniture de um, transfers. Those are some of them that we are getting ready to carry. And then I made this sign the other day, which I absolutely love. This is the wood for the sign. Looked like this when we started. It is painted linen. And then we put weathered gray stain top over the linen. And look how fabulous it turned out. This is just white. Hang tight. Don't move. Don't do my butt. All right. <laughs> the frame is... You did, didn't you? I'm going to watch it and I'll know. The frame is this white MDF stuff. And it has walnut, then raven black, then weathered gray stain top. Just brushed on. Not smoothed out, not careful, not anything. And then we put the furniture transfer on there. Okay, we have another question. Okay, what's the question? They would, Samantha Miller would like to know if you can use sandpaper or does the sander work better? We know the question. Okay, so you can use better? sandpaper <laughs> if you use it right after it dries and if you have a small piece. If you have anything much bigger than this and you wait much longer after it dries, it's worth the $29 investment for a sander. Why are you laughing? I'm not. How, you can't even see my face. I can see your face. I can see your face. All right. Now, any other questions? Quit zooming right in. <laughs> okay. All right. This is your thing, not mine. All right. How no more get, questions? Not everybody's going to okay. want a picture of me Fa on their sign. Fabulous. That is a cool sign. That turned out great. It was so fun and easy to do. And when we get the transfers in, we'll do a Thursday um, at 3-ish video on how to use the transfers. Okay. So... Congratulations to Penny and Amy. Place an order. Tell us you got the $35 gift certificate. Penny Miller and Amy Shepard. Can anyone in this room not correct me? You don't have to do that again. Well, <laughs> okay. I'm glad I did. We're going that. over all our business work at the first. Get over here. Oh. Stop watching. Okay, okay, then go to Vintage Market Days because we're going to be there. Go actually physically go in June. But right now, go to their Facebook page, like it, tell me you, you uh, heard about them on. Uh, Refund Junk Thursdays at 3-ish and then share it with a friend that'll get you in a, in a drawing 
to win some free paint and then go to our Facebook page. Pinned at the top is our giveaway we're doing right now. Tell us your favorite cover, color, share with a friend, you'll win some paint. And then we've got a paint class coming up for those of you local in Woodstock, Georgia. And we would love to have you come. Message us and we'll send you all the information. Thank you so much for watching. Happy refunking. I don't know how to do that.